Hello again, this is Stan Roach, Chief Customer Officer at Agile Iron, and welcome to our tutorial video number 7.3, covering the integration of the Agile Iron Suite in QuickBooks. We have broken the subject down into three separate steps, each with its own video. This is step three, and is entitled, Mapping the Detailed Components of Transactions, and it takes eight minutes. In this video, we are going to show the export of data from Agile Iron into QuickBooks for three different types of transactions, a sales order, a purchase order, and a sales return. Once you see each of these, you will understand the basic concepts of mapping the detailed components of transactions. I will start with the sales order. This could be any order from any customer from any of the various channels you sell through from your website, your telesales group, your Amazon or eBay listings, a wholesale web store, etc. For demo purposes, I will start from scratch and create a brand new sales order as if it was coming from one of our own sales reps, coming in through our Agile Iron CRM. So first I select the customer account and an individual contact who is placing the order. Then second, I'll select the payment method they are going to use. Then third, I'll enter the products they are purchasing. And last, I'll enter the tax and shipping information. Notice that the rest of the fields in the order have been filled in automatically based on the prior information we already knew about the customer. For demo purposes, I will leave the status of this order as not paid and save the order. Now let's go to the accounting module and to the tab marked QuickBooks Export. Here you will see that Agile Iron recognizes that there is one sales order that is waiting to be synchronized or exported from Agile Iron to the copy of your QuickBooks company file in the cloud. Let's go ahead and click on Sync to QuickBooks button. This action exports the sales order to your QuickBooks company file in the cloud, the one we established back in step one in tutorial video 7.1. It is important to note here that you do not need to do this manually for every order. As orders arrive in the Agile Iron suite from all your various sales channels, Agile Iron will recognize and keep them here, accumulating them until you initiate the sync to QuickBooks. Later this year, we will be adding a feature that will let you set this sync to occur automatically at whatever frequency you want. Now let's shift back to our desktop QuickBooks company file. From there, I launch the QuickBooks Sync Manager. It will sync on the QuickBooks side with the copy of the company file that is in the Intuit Cloud and which has received the exported sales order from Agile Iron. This sync will transfer the sales order data from your QuickBooks company file in the Intuit Cloud into your desktop QuickBooks company file, which is where, of course, you ultimately want it to arrive. Let's take a look at the invoice that has now been created in your desktop QuickBooks company file for that order. You can see that all the details have come in correctly, including the customer information, the payment and shipping method that are going to be used, the product line items, taxes, and other elements of the sales order. Now let's repeat this same process, but for a sales order that has already been paid, like one that might come in from a consumer web store. Here, I have one such example. Let's go to Accounting, QuickBooks Export. The system recognizes that there is a new order that is waiting to be synchronized. Let's go ahead and click on the Sync to QuickBooks button. Now, go back to QuickBooks and launch the Sync Manager and do the sync on the QuickBooks side. This now transfers the new order information into your desktop QuickBooks company file from the cloud. This time you will notice that a sales receipt has been created in QuickBooks since the order has already been paid. You can see that all the details have come in correctly, including the customer information, the payment and shipping methods, product line items, taxes, and other elements of the order. One final thing we will want to look at here is the adjustments made to COGS, cost of goods sold, and inventory asset accounts for the two orders that just came in. Let's go to the chart of accounts and bring up the inventory asset. Here you can see entries that decrease the inventory asset for the sales that have been made while increasing the cost of goods sold by the unit cost of the product sold. Now I will walk through a similar process for a purchase order to a vendor. 
Again, for demo purposes, I will start from scratch and create a brand new purchase order in Agile Iron. First, I will select the vendor and an individual contact that I am cutting the purchase order to. Then second, I will select the payment method. And third, enter the products I am ordering. Then enter the tax and shipping information. And again, notice that the rest of the fields in the PO have been filled in automatically based on the prior information we already knew about that vendor. Again, I will leave the status of this purchase order as not paid and save the order. Now let's go to Accounting Module and to the tab marked QuickBooks Export. Here you will see that Agile Iron recognizes that there is one purchase order that is waiting to be synchronized or exported from Agile Iron to the copy of your QuickBooks company file in the cloud. Let's go ahead and click on the Sync to QuickBooks button. This action exports this purchase order to your QuickBooks company file in the cloud, the one we established back in Step 1 of the tutorial video 7.1. It is important to note here that you do not have to do this manually for each and every purchase order. As POs are issued, Agiline will recognize and keep them here, accumulating them until you initiate the sync to QuickBooks. As I mentioned earlier, later this year we will be adding a feature that will let you set this sync up to occur automatically at whatever frequency you want. Now let's shift back to our desktop QuickTop QuickBooks company file. From there, I launch the QuickBooks Sync Manager. It will sync to the QuickBooks side with the copy of the company file that is in the Intuit Cloud and which has received the exported purchase order from Agile Iron. This sync will transfer that purchase order data from your QuickBooks company file in the cloud into your desktop QuickBooks company file, which is, of course, where you ultimately wanted it to arrive. Let's take a look at the bill that has now been created in QuickBooks for that purchase order. You can see that all the details have come in correctly, including the vendor information, the product line items, taxes, shipping, and other elements of the PO. One final thing we will want to look at here is the adjustments made to the inventory asset account for the purchase order that just came in. Let's go to the chart of accounts and bring up the inventory asset. Here you can see entries that increase the inventory asset for the purchases that have been made against the accounts payable to the vendor. Lastly, I will walk through a similar process with the sales return from a customer. As before, I will create a brand new sales return in Agile Iron. In this case, I will locate an existing sales order and mark the order as returned by the customer. Again, I will leave the status of this returned order as not paid and save the return. Now let's go to the accounting module and to the tab marked QuickBooks Export. Here you will see again that Agile Iron recognizes that there is one re sales return that is waiting to be synchronized or exported from Agile Iron to the copy of your QuickBooks company file in the cloud. Let's go ahead and click on the Sync to QuickBooks button. This action exports this sales return to your QuickBooks company file in the cloud, the one we established back in Step 1 in Tutorial 7.1. Now let's shift back to our desktop QuickBooks company file. From there, I launch the QuickBooks Sync Manager. It will sync on the QuickBooks side with the copy of the company file in the cloud and which has received the exported sales return information from Agile Iron. This sync will transfer that sales return data from your QuickBooks company file in the cloud to your desktop QuickBooks company file, which is, of course, where you ultimately wanted it to arrive. Let's take a look at the credit memo that has now been created in QuickBooks. You can see that all the details have come in correctly, including the customer information, the payment and shipping methods, product line, taxes, and other elements of the order. This concludes Step 3 in Video 7.3, covering the integration of the Agile Iron Suite and QuickBooks. I hope you have learned a good deal about the flexibility and comprehensive capabilities of Agile Iron's integration with QuickBooks. This capability allows you to seamlessly move information from Agile Iron into QuickBooks for accounting and other purposes. Please feel free to watch this and any of the other demo videos at any time.